Hi everybody, it's Dina from Aldina Rose Designs and I have gotten a lot of questions on how I did my life um, shirts and how I separated the life and <clears throat> put the scales or the different designs into the different colors. So I thought I would do a quick video um, showing you guys how I did that. So I already um, brought in my word life and what you're going to do is you're going to use the impact font and use all capital letters and um, there it is right there and then I went on Google and I searched for um, my um, scales my fish scales and I'm going to show you actually um, how I went about taking it from this right here to this right here or, I'm sorry from this right here to this right here where we could actually um, let me move this to the front um, where we could actually use this as you see you could see kind of through it so it doesn't have the um, the white in it so it's actually uh, a path <clears throat> excuse me a compound path so what you're going to do is um, you're going to go over here and I'm using my uh, Silhouette Design Studio, and you can also do this same technique uh, with your Cricut Explore, but you will have to um, do a trace in like Inkscape and you know do a, a make it a compound path and bring it into Design Space in order to use it. And then instead of using the knife tool, which I'll be explaining to you in a minute on how I separate these letters, you will be using your slice tool. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to go over here to my trace window, okay, and I'm going to hit the select trace and I'm going to make a box around the area that I want to trace. So I'm just going to get some of the scales in there. And actually this brings it in pretty good with the high pass filter on so I really don't have to do much else to it except hit the button trace. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to move this out of the way and you see right here how it, it has a trace window. I'm actually going to cl right click and you're going to hit release your compound path, okay? And so you can see it a little better. I'm going to fill that with black, okay? So then once you do, you release your path, you're going to also right click and you're going to make it a compound path, okay? So as you see, this was it before and this is it now. So you have a compound path where you can actually, um, you know, do the, the next, um, you know, delete all or select all to um, separate those. So let me just move these out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to bring life over here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we could actually see what we're doing. And so I'm going to go over to my knife tool and you're going to use the straight knife and this is all preference I'm going to do it probably right about here kind of in the middle and I'm going to make a straight line right across now if you start seeing numbers that means it's not straight so you I do not have a steady hand that way so you just kind of move it until you don't see those numbers um, on the left hand side so when it disappears that means that your line is straight so I'm just going to adjust that until I don't see that anymore oh, almost okay so that's nice and straight. I'm going to go over here and get rid of my knife to my select tool. Okay, so now you'll see the break here, which means that the letters are separated. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to click on each of the other letters. I'm going to right click and I'm going to group those together. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing for here. I'm going to click on that, hit my shift key, and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to group those together. Okay. So now I'm going to show you. So if you click on your upper part and you, you'll see that you could actually 
change the color so now you'll have two different colors on the bottom there. See, you could change it to whatever color you would like. So we're just gonna bring it right back to that pretty teal color. Now the bottom half, let me lower, bring that down. I'm going to use my arrow key so that they stay lined up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fish scales and I'm going to bring it over here. I could actually do both of these at the same time and see exactly where I want it to be. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on my fish scales. I'm gonna hit the shift button down and I'm going to click on the purple letters. I'm going to go to my modify tool and I'm going to hit subtract all. All right, well, for some reason, okay, hang on. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna hit the shift key. I'm going to hit the purple letters. And we're going to subtract all. And we're gonna move that out of the way. And there you see where you have your fish scales. Now I'm going to move it over to here and let's see if I could get all of it on there. Let me move it a little bit. Mm. Let me just widen this just a tiny bit to cover it. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on that, click off, click on that, hit my shift key, hit the purple letters and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit subtract all again. Oh. I'm gonna try that again. We're gonna click on this. You're gonna hit shift. You're gonna click on your purple letter. Oh. For some reason, you don't wanna make sure you don't grab those two. You're just gonna click this you're gonna hit your shift key, you're gonna click on the purple letter and the purple letter here, and you're going to hit subtract all. And for some reason it won't, oh, I know what I did. Okay, let me ungroup these letters. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna do this, we're gonna hit that the shift key, the purple letter, the purple letter, and then we're going to subtract all. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna group these together again. So we're gonna click, or actually I'm just gonna drag my tool all around just to group those all together so we don't lose any pieces. There we go, okay. so. Now those are all grouped together and we're gonna move them right back up so that they're connected. Okay, and see, so now you have your different colors and you could even change um, the bottom half if you wanna do green scales, you know, to make it a little bit more mermaidy. All right, so now what I like to do um, and this is a preference, but I always like to do an offset because I, and I always like to do my offset in black because I think it makes it pop. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit offset. And the default for offset is 1.25. Um, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do 0 0.57 and I'm going to hit apply. Oh, let me hit the offset again that for some reason that made it something happened. Sorry about that guys. That's good that we have a delete button. Okay, we're going to try this again. So we're going to 
right click and I'm going to hit the offset and I'm going to bring it down And I like to bring it fairly close. This is all a preference. I like uh, the rounded corners. Um, you can also go ahead if you wanted to and you could do um, the corners, the regular corners, but I tend to like the way it looks with the rounded corners. And I'm going to bring this in quite a bit. Um, your default, like I said, is uh, 0 0.125 but I like to take it in pretty close. <clears throat> and I just keep clicking the down arrow until I see, you know, if I like it. I think that's still a little too... And you could see it's um, the red lines. You could see how they're moving a little bit closer and a little bit closer. Um, and I'm even going to take it down a little bit closer even still. I want to kind of get it just enough so where you can see the offset but so that it's not actually overpowering it and like I said I like to use a black offset just because I think black um, makes things pop um, especially when you're using you know pastel colors or okay let's see just a little bit more bear with me like I said, this is all preference, um, and it's fun to just play around and, and see the different, um, all right, let's see. I think, let's try it here. I'm going to hit apply. And so this is at 0 0.85 um, right now. And i got to give it a minute. And for some reason, it's a little bit taking its time this morning. Okay, I'm not quite sure why it's taking so long. Um, but it is giving me a little bit of trouble this morning for some reason when I go to use my offset. Um, I'll try to click off. just going to give it a few more minutes because it won't let me move and of course you know all this always happens live when you're trying to uh, tape a video um, I'm not quite sure what is going on here Okay, here we go. Finally. So, 
we're going to go over here and we're going to fill the offset with the black. I'm just going to go here and just click the line here and then I'm going to go Let me just go in and I'm going to get rid of this line color. Okay, there we go. Now you can see it better. All right, so it took a little bit there. I don't know what was going on, but here you can see that you have your upper half and your offset, which kind of makes it pop a little bit. And like I said, you can um, change these to any color you want. You could do them individual colors. Um, and that basically is how you do it. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day, guys. Bye.